Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to be talking about backup storage. Um, basically, when you go inside the Acronis console on the left-hand side, you're going to see a backup storage tab. What this is going to show you is all your different backup locations and what is stored in each one. Um, what you're seeing here with these folders are local locations. You can kind of see the path to that local location. If we click on that location, you'd be able to see uh, the backups. If there were any there, you could see actually this is nothing in it. This one has nothing in it. Um, but if we go down here to this jrv-hyper-v, this is actually the username um, of the person that has generated that storage location for that cloud storage. Um, we know it's cloud storage based on the icon here showing the cloud, whereas this one we have a folder showing it's a local folder. Um, once we're in that location, we can select the machine that we'd want to manage. Um, <clears throat> this show deleted shows you your... Um, storage that has been deleted but is still inside of the immutable storage container so just to kind of give you that idea when you select the location if you want to see the immutable storage bucket for that you can hit show deleted and that'll show you your immutable storage uh, if we wanted to manage either one of these machines whether we want to hit show backups delete those backups uh, view the details of those backups we can select that for example, hit show backups and we can see all the different cloud storage backups for that CentOS machine. Um, and then we can either do recoveries or anything we need to do from, from this page as well. Um, sometimes you may you know, have to hit this refresh button. What this does is it refreshes uh, the storage at that location. So if you have some sort of reporting error or something, you have more storage than um, you you, or you have less storage than you believe you have, you can hit that refresh option to kind of match up the uh, storage quantities here. But that's pretty much all I want to give you a quick overview on what this backup storage and, and uh, what that tab does and what you can see from that section, different options you have. Thank you for joining today's video. Bye-bye.